New at 11, an amazing show of support for a family just days after they found out nothing more could be done to help their son who's battling cancer. News Channel 9's Tammy Palmer takes us to Oswego County where people lined up in the cold to surprise nine-year-old Julian Ross. <laughs> a big surprise for a little boy adopted by an entire community. Dozens of people stood in frigid temperatures to share their hearts. I've grown to just love the boy and I, 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 um, I have a hard time even, you know, thinking about, you know, things that might happen. That is a really big Valentine. Monster's eyes. Look. Nine-year-old Julian is in the final stages of neuroblastoma. Just days ago, a doctor in Maryland told his family the time has come for hospice care. As the news spread, dozens of people lined up to welcome Julian home. That is beautiful. <laughs> Real pirate. Look at Real oh. pirate. Real sword. Wow. Uh, from Jack Sparrow to cheerleaders, hockey teams, and EMTs, a line formed out the door. Visitors passing through one by one for more than an hour. We came here today for a good cause because Julian is a very good boy, and we wanted to thank him for being very strong and brave. We're all parents, we all have little kids, and it's just for us to think about how he is. Our kids could be that same way, so we would want the same support that we're all giving him today. Julian's parents have been honest. He knows the latest results were not good and he is all too aware of what his family is facing. He'll randomly kiss a necklace that they bought me and he'll say my kisses are with you forever and ever and ever no matter what. And then I'm like what do you mean by that? And then he's like oh nothing and then he'll go to sleep. I use him as an inspiration and I tell people if we can live our lives by the example he's modeling for us, which is just to fight hard every day for what you have, then uh, we'll, we'll be okay. A lesson from a child who still believes a kiss can leave a mark that lasts forever. Tammy Palmer, News Channel 9. Julian and his family are asking supporters to consider making donations to fight childhood cancer. They also have a site set up for donations directly to Julian. We'll link you there at localsyr.com.